What's going on, everyone? Today, I'm very excited to show you this mid-century modern home that we transformed in a month and a half. We sold this flip within one day of being on the market, and the price well exceeded my expectations. I'm going to tell you all about it in this video. And make sure you watch until the very end because I'm going to share with you all the numbers on this project. Before I show you what we did on this flip, let's check out what the house looked like when I first bought it in March 2021. What's up everyone? Today I'm going to show you this new flip that we just bought. It's in the city of Santa Clara. It's a great location because it's only two miles from the new Apple campus. And as you can see that the curb appeal of this home is not great right now. It needs a lot of TLC. And we are going to have to put a new lawn in this front yard and a lot of plants and new mulch. And the home is mid-century modern style which you can tell from the shallow pitch roof and the long skinny windows. Currently, the house doesn't have a garage, so we want to convert this carport into a one-car garage, and that's going to add a lot of value to the home. Because right now, when you go into the house, you have to go through the carport. So once we add the garage, we're going to have to relocate the front entrance into this area. So the appearance of the home is going to change a lot. So this is in the carport and you can see that the previous owner left us a lot of trash. And that's because it's a service that I offer to the home sellers. When they sell their homes to me, they can leave whatever they don't want behind and I will take care of it all so that makes their move easier. Let me show you the interior of the home. It looks kind of like a battlefield right now because of all the trash and furniture left behind, but the home is not in poor condition. It just needs some updating. As I mentioned earlier, we are going to add a front entrance right by the fireplace. And we also want to update the fireplace with some big modern tiles. And the home already has laminate floors, but the style and color look kind of dated. So we want to install all new laminate floors. It's nice that in this living room, it has big windows and a slider. They bring in a lot of natural light. And we also want to add some recess lights in the ceilings as usual so we can brighten up the space. On the other side of the living room, you see this wall heater. This is a primary source of heating in this home, but wall heaters are somewhat undesirable to home buyers, so our plan is to replace it with central heating. At the end of the living room, there are two walls here and here separating the living room from the kitchen. Luckily, these are not load-bearing walls, so we're going to remove them to create open concept. And the kitchen right now is very small and cramped. We're going to gut it all and replace the fridge here, the stove here, and then we're going to wrap the cabinets around the window and put a sink here. So to do that, we're going to have this window a little smaller, and then we're going to have a peninsula coming out this way where we're going to have a eating area. So after we're done, the kitchen is going to be a lot bigger, more open, and way more functional. This is the guest bathroom in the house. It's pretty small and it's dated. You can see that around the shower, we have the square tiles and a gray tub. So we're going to gut it all and put in new modern tiles. And then we're going to replace the sink, the toilet, and the floor tiles too. On the walls, you see this wainscoting that's more of a traditional style. And when we remodel this home, we want it to look more modern. So we want to remove this wainscoting here. Even though this home is pretty small, only 1100 square feet, 
There are four bedrooms, so it's very compact. All of these bedrooms are pretty similar with vaulted ceilings, lemony floors, and occasionally you can find some interesting stuff that's left behind. For example, here I found my new e-bike. This is the master bedroom in the home and it's slightly bigger than the other rooms. Here we want to replace that old school light fixture and we want to rip out this carpet and install new laminate floors because buyers prefer laminate floors even in the bedrooms now. I really like that out of this big window we have a flowering tree right outside. It's a very nice view. This master bathroom is very small but it's very similar to the guest bathroom. We're just going to have to gut everything and modernize it with new finishings and fixtures. In this hallway, we have indoor laundry hiding in this closet. In California, a lot of times homes have laundry in the garage, so it's actually really nice for this home to have indoor laundry. Outside the slider in the living room, we have this big side yard. It's covered in weeds right now, and we need to remove it all and level the ground so we can put in a large and nice patio and some steps to make it easier to go to the backyard. And our next buyer will be able to enjoy this outdoor seating space right out of their living room. In this spacious backyard, we're going to remove this ugly shed and level the floor here so we can put in sod to make this a nice outdoor entertaining space. Here is a walkthrough of the house to give you an idea of the flow. This 1100 square feet house is going to be a very quick flip. We'll turn it around in about six to eight weeks. I love quick flips because the market is less likely to shift in a short amount of time and therefore it's less risky. Smaller houses are also on the cheaper side, so they have a bigger buyer pool and are easier to sell. From the before video, you could tell that the exterior of the home looked completely different. To improve the curb appeal, we put in fresh sod and new plants and new mulch. And the biggest change we made to the exterior was to enclose the carport and made it a one-car garage. That added a lot of value to this home. And we also put in a new front entrance right here. The home looks so much cuter now. When I picked the front door of this home, I chose this door with a skinny light. It's a little more expensive than the front door I usually use on the flips, but it's really worth it because it fits the style of the home much better. We also gave this home a fresh coat of paint. This neutral gray color looks very modern 
and the pop of color is on this front door which is a neon blue color that's popular with mid-century modern homes to stay true to the period we also put in this exterior light and the house numbers that are modern as well now let me show you the interior of this home we put in a lot of recessed lights to brighten up the space in some mid-century modern homes with low pitch roofs, sometimes the ceiling joists can be shorter and there's not enough space to use the traditional can lights. So we had to use these low profile canless lights, but they pretty much function the same. We put in all new windows and a slider and they bring in a lot of natural light. We also installed all new laminate floors throughout the whole house and they make the flooring very consistent. Before I show you more of this flip, smash the like button below and subscribe to the channel so you can see more before and after videos like this. The biggest change we made to this living space was to remove the walls that were separating the kitchen from the living room. Now we have an open concept and a large peninsula as an eating area that's going to be very functional. You probably already noticed that the kitchen style here looks completely different from the kitchens I usually put in my flips because instead of shaker cabinets, we use these flat panel European style cabinets. These cabinets are actually a little more expensive than the shaker cabinets, but they fit the mid-century modern style so well. What kind of cabinets you use in the home really depends on your preference and the look you are going for. If you are going for a farmhouse look or a suburban home look, then shaker cabinets probably are a good choice. But if you are looking to do a modern style look, then these flat panel cabinets probably suit better. And as backsplash, we use these white ceramic chevron pattern tiles that I got on sale for $3 a square foot. I really love how clean and modern that they came out. This is also the first time that I use these teardrop pendant lights. I just love how they look in this kitchen. On this side of the living room, we have a large fireplace that we tiled with large contemporary tiles to make it a good focal point. Many people have asked me about the furniture in my flipped homes. I usually use a staging service to furnish the place before putting a home on the market for sale to help buyers visualize themselves living in the home. It cost a couple thousand dollars, but it's money well spent. For this home, my stager picked out furniture that's mid-century modern style. So you can see that a lot of these pieces are wood instead of glass or chrome. From the slider in the living room, you can access this spacious side yard where we installed a new patio and we put in a new lawn in two different areas. We also power washed the old fence to match the new fence that we installed. And now we have a very spacious outdoor entertaining space which is very desirable, especially during the pandemic, a lot of buyers are looking for more outdoor space. This is the guest bathroom where we kept the existing layout, but we replaced all the shower tiles and the tub. Around the shower, we use these simple tiles and to add a design element, we use the hexagon tiles on the floors. It's interesting that I was able to get both of these tiles for just a dollar a square foot when they were on sale. So for all the tiles that we used in this house, even include the tiles on the fireplace, I spent less than a thousand dollars. So you really have to know where you shop for tiles. This 24 inch floating vanity is from Home Depot. It matches the cabinet style in the kitchen and it fits small space really well. 
this black trimmed mirror and the vanity light also makes the bathroom look stylish. This is the master bedroom. In all the bedrooms in this house, we installed new ceiling lights, new windows, new closet doors, and new flooring. And in this small master bathroom, we use pretty much the same finishings as the guest bathroom, but it looks so much better now compared to what it looked like before. After showing you the highlights of the flip, here is a walkthrough of the whole house to give you an idea of the flow. As I was remodeling this home, I learned a lot about mid-century modern style and how to stay true to the design. It took some research to decide on the finishings, but it was a lot of fun and I'm so happy to see this home completely transformed. We received two very strong preemptive offers on this home within a day of being on the market, and the final sale price was $1.55 million. 200,000 about where I thought the house was going to sell for. I'm so glad that we were able to find buyers who appreciate the unique style of the home and my efforts in the remodel. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions regarding this flip, drop me a comment below. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.